planets in the universe for Broly's pod to go to, it goes to Earth. Of. All. Planets. I hope you're prepared to hear him say that a lot. So, Broly is submerged in water. How is he not drowning? Now the water's frozen? If it froze that quickly while being a small lake, how was it able to run and fill up the hole instead of freezing? Who is he? Jesus? Dragon Ball Z's opening. Instead of running on all fours like a dog, why don't you just fly after it? <laughs> you dumb bitch, did you not see he almost caught it? Let's get this straight, Videl. You're the one who asked us to help you find Shenron. This is so non-canon, it hurts. Here's an absolutely pointless subplot that has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. <laughs> intruders! <laughs> We're not intruders, my name is Videl. And you're intruding, Videl. What kind of oh. fools do you take us for? Considering this bullshit ritual you're doing, you look very foolish to me. What even caught Goten's attention? Seven years ago. Skip! From the beginning, we have fought. I said skip, damn it. Are you gonna do do it out? I said no! Child abuse. Why didn't she slap Trunks as well? Previously on a better Broly movie. Goku's dick. Broly's dick. Two other baby dicks. Are you fucking kidding me? Goten crying is gonna be the whole reason this movie happens? <laughs> okay, shut the fuck up, Goten. This is why you get ignored in Super. Are you gonna do do it out? This scene does not contain a panty shot. I am so out of fucks to give about this right now. I'll just give this part five sins and get a move on. All of these people gonna do do them out. Doo-doo them out. All of these people gon' doo-doo them out. This entire non-Broly related subplot about a monster terrorizing a village goes on for 10 minutes. There are 60 seconds in a minute, so a sin for each second. Can you shut the fuck up already? Now Broly shows up. This scene does not contain a panty shot. Videl survives this. Why? Ion is playing in the background. A sin removed every time one of their songs play. Kakarot. I'm sure he can see this little kid isn't Kakarot since Kakarot was a grown man when he fought it. <laughs> Child abuse. This is going to be going on for half an hour. Gohan just happens to be passing by. How convenient. Why is Broly just fucking around with them? We'll just ask the Eternal Dragon to defeat him for us. That's not how it works. Trunks' his ass. How is Goten sliding up uneven terrain? <laughs> this movie sucks this many balls. Oh yeah, Gohan's in this movie. Videl somehow isn't dead. Goten's dick. Ready or not, Four Star Ball, here I come! You'd think he'd have more of a sense of urgency to find it, considering a psychopath is after them. How long does it take to call a dragon? Trunks would be great at cinema sins. Not it. Uh-uh. Still no. Dumbass. Also, how did it get that far away after putting it down? Where's the plot to this movie? Did Toei think they didn't have to try just because Broly is popular? Oh, wait. I found the last Dragon Ball! We have all seven of them now! Okay, why haven't you summoned Shenlong yet? Why announce your presence and get Broly's attention on you? Uh, hey, Shenron? Why isn't Shenlong coming out? No, seriously. Why the fuck isn't he coming out? Shenron is a big dragon. Maybe he needs more space. Bull fucking shit! In the first ever Dragon Ball movie, Curse of the Blood Rubies, he is summoned from inside someone's stomach, and he even blows the roof off the castle they're in. In the third movie, 
mystical adventure, he is summoned in an underwater trench. So don't give me that he needs more space bullshit. Goten isn't in much of a hurry considering Trunks is about to get murdered. Fly, you jackass! Uh. Oh. oh, that's nasty. Best Ion song ever. Kakarot! 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 This is why Broly has so many detractors. This movie portrays Broly as a mindless, one-dimensional drone triggered by crying, and who only says Kakarot, and that's all people remember about him. Broly was never a good character, but he wasn't nearly as bad as people say he is. He had personality in movie 8, unlike here. Like with Cooler, this is why DBZ movie villains should be one and done, as they suffer from diminishing returns. 20 cents added for Broly being a shell of his former self. Took you long enough, Gohan. Broly, you have no shame picking on little kids. Raccoon has no shame either. Eh, Gohan? I like how Broly is giving them the time to have a casual conversation instead of attacking them right away. That explains why none of us could defeat him, not even Videl, and she tried the hardest. She got smacked away twice. Yeah, she tried very hard. I tried so hard and got so far. I could do that. Wish you could do what? The dodge, the key blast, or the flip? Last I checked, you could do all of that. Kakarot. Does this dumbass think everyone he sees is Kakarot? <laughs> that was about as useful as tits on a nun. Instead of a constipated scream to form a barrier, why not use a Kamehameha to blow it further away? I want my Videl penny shot, goddammit! The crack full of lava is too small in this shot. Gohan actually goes Super Saiyan 2, but the animators forgot his electrical aura. Reused animation from movie 8. That's just lazy. There's my chance! It's my only shot to beat him! Why would Gohan think that would work? In the Frieza arc, he saw Super Saiyan Goku survive falling in lava, so what the hell does he think it would do to Broly? It's over. Why didn't you fly further away from the lava before taking a nap? Piccolo saving Gohan cliche. Piccolo! Huh? I don't care if Krillin is wearing Piccolo's clothes. No one would ever confuse that midget with Piccolo. Also, why is Krillin wearing Piccolo's clothes? Also, why is he here to fill in for Piccolo? Why isn't Piccolo here? Why isn't Vegeta here either? I'm sure they can sense Broly's key, so why would they not come considering they fought him last time? And None of you would have lasted a season if it wasn't for me. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back, Krillin. <laughs> How'd you think that would turn out, dumbass? Broly really doesn't need that force field. Goku didn't. Krillin's own count is 530,000. <laughs> Broly didn't even need to pay that any attention. Not until you lie dead at my feet. Here's the only line Broly has besides Kakarot in this movie. Oh, I wish Dad was here! Gohan! Go, Dad! You've handled yourselves well, my sons, but this isn't your fight to finish. Broly is my concern. Wait a minute. What the fuck is this bullshit? The Dragon Balls granted a wish that wasn't said out loud? Can the Dragon Balls read minds now? And Shenlong himself was never summoned. He has to be summoned first before he grants wishes. Also, why wasn't Goten able to summon him before? And is Goku temporarily back from the dead? Is it like with Uren Ibaba granting the dead one day to return? What the f- 
fuck is going on? This is the biggest deus ex machina ever! You know what? I'm done. Fuck this movie. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Now if I give a shit, I might just give a fuck. But I don't give a shit, so I don't give a- Cause a nigga like Pete don't, don't really give a fuck. No. Right, that's how you do Okay, fuck it. Let's get this over with. <laughs> yes, numbnuts. It really is Kakarot this time. Like with Cooler, Broly gets launched into the sun. Also, like with Cooler, Broly got a second movie. Hmm. I'm sensing a formula here. Are the Dragon Balls in space? Are they the Black Star Dragon Balls? Thank you, Father. <laughs> So, Goku just went away when it was all over? What were the conditions of the wish? Deus Ex Machina at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Where were you when I was drowning in the ocean? Ungrateful bitch. I think I'll go to the village and get a snack. Bullshit! The village was destroyed after all that. Thanks to our heroes. Narration. But was Goku's appearance a result of the Dragon Balls? Or was it just an illusion? For Gohan and Goten, it doesn't really matter. It does matter. This is how not to write a story. You can't just throw any kind of shit into it without explanation. The worst movie ever! And send and sip. Oh yeah, Krillin's in this movie. Kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, so don't ask. Well, I'm lost and I'm found and I can't touch the ground. I'm plowed into the sun. Oh no, my poor husband. He's a vegetable. Well, I hate vegetables.